Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of Tech Views Now, and today I am reviewing OneSafe. OneSafe is a password management system and as many of you know, I use two other password management systems. The first one I, that I've been using for a long time is 1Password. The second is LastPass and I've recently been using it. Now, as far as how did I come across this, a representative from the LastPass team has contacted me to review this in exchange for a free copy so I can take a look at it. And as far as things goes, I've had constant communication or somewhat constant communication after I got my hands on it so I can give you the best review and whatnot. And I'm showing you the email that they sent back as far as some questions I asked them. First off, I asked them how secure their stuff is and what what makes it secure. I asked them about the syncing and what the thing can run on. So as far as things go, some of this email is going to be blocked out. So keep that in mind because I didn't get their permission. But, you know, this is very important because you're going to buy the stuff. So you need to know this stuff. So, as far as security, let's talk about that first. For all OneSafe, OnePassword, and LastPass, it all uses the same. Um, unfortunately, this makes me makes it harder on me because if one of them then uses, I can say use the other ones, but they're all using AES-256. This means that they're all using top-of-line military-grade encryption. Now, one thing I want to add into here no matter what you use if your master password sucks then it doesn't matter how good your encryption is you need two things a good master password and a good encryption the reason for this is the if your password is password guess how long a hacker is going to take to get into your stuff so keep that in mind now as far as things goes uh, with one safe and one password it has a similar syncing ability it uses dropbox but unlike one password the one safe uses icloud which is very important to note in a second now as far as what it's available on this is probably one of the two major things i feel that's most important about these is the thing runs on ios which is iphones ipads and um, it runs on OS X, which is Macintosh's. Now, as far as this demonstration, I'm going to be running on OS X 10.9, which is Mavericks. And this is in a virtual machine. So if things are a little slow or bogged down at times, just keep that in mind. Because a virtual machine it means I'm running uh, OS X inside of Windows 8. So it's a running operating system within an operating system, which is a lot. Um, which is in interesting though if you if you want to know how you can do this particular move and get Mavericks and whatnot run on your Windows 8 machine with uh, VMware then please check out my channel and I do have a full video on this with full description and whatnot and comment below on that particular video if you need help and, and if problems come up now as far as things goes getting back on track the um, again I iOS Mac and it is available as it says for Android as it says the thing will be out soon for Windows Phone but it will be out for Windows PC but no word also it's not going to be out on Linux anytime soon at least there's no plan on it this is an important note for anyone that's on Ubuntu or any other Linux any other type of Linux because one password isn't on Linux either so the first thing that I think is, is important towards any product obviously if the security is sane the first thing is is price I mean if, if it runs on your stuff prices will make it or kill it for me at least so as far as things goes one thing to keep in mind is all this is account based and what do I mean by this is for one password and and um, one safe if you have a Google account say Android 
and um, or if you have a Macintosh account or whatnot, then what happens is you must have that account connect to whatever device that you're going for. So if, say for example I'm doing Android, if I'm trying to get a paid application for Android on a device X, then I must have this account connected to device X. In other words, that application is not going to go on there, or I got to pay for it again. That's important to note. So as far as things goes, for, for account, uh, per account for Macintosh, it's $10. Simple as that. For Windows, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same. Um, since it hadn't been out yet, I'm not going to try to force their hand on giving me a price. Also, I'm not going to try to force their hand on giving me a date. Um, that's important to note because I am a programmer myself. I do code myself, so I know things do come up. So, you know, don't, don't force a programmer or a coder towards a particular date because things do come up. But as far as things goes, price-wise for Mac, it's ten dollars, so it's not far off to believe ten dollars for one note. It's, it's a pretty good price. For one pass, well, let's go into the application for uh, one safe. The pa the the um, price for Android and iOS, which is again iPhone, iPad, six dollars. Simple as that. So you're automatically talking about sixteen dollars to so uh, depend on. What devices you have. So, as far as things goes, with one password, we're looking at fifty dollars for a um, account. This being a one license, um, same thing kind of applies here. So, one password, uh, one license, fifty dollars. Obviously, family license could be a little bit more, but um. This also includes you got to pay another fifty dollars here. Now, as far as things goes, I'm going to point out real quick is for a um, I don't know if this is going to be a limited time thing, but for one password Mac and Windows uh, for a single user license, which is what we're focusing on, is seventy dollars. So it is quite a bit more. It's, it's a lot more than one safe. For the application, it's it's free. Um, if I remember right, for Android, I, I don't remember paying for that. But let's just say hypothetically it's the same as this. It's $18. I unfortunately can't pull out the price. Uh, I, I, I'll i try in a second. But um, for LastPass, it's uh, $12 a year. Obviously, you can get less further out you can get yeah as i said for some reason it's free on android and not so much on ios i i, I don't really know why it doesn't seem like a strong business model but that's interesting to know so if you're on ios you're automatically punished which i don't really see as right so that's interesting. But um, as far as the, let's go back, as far as one safe, which is what we're focusing on today, it's $6 on both things. So keep that in mind. So assuming that uh, you looked at things, one thing I want to mention is LastPass might seem like a cheaper deal in the short run. But if you're looking at a password management system, you're talking about a decade or so. So, with that being said, OneSafe is actually a whole lot cheaper than the other choices. So, keep that in mind. So, as far as the encryption goes, the main password, let's do the... Cancel that. One, two, three, four, just for demonstration purposes. Again, the little lag is caused by the VMware. Don't don't worry about that. Now, as far as what type of, of encryption you can get, well, let's, if I remember this right, the um, 
first thing is pin. Second is pass password. Pin is what you just saw me do. Password, uh, pull it up real quick. Password is the safest in my opinion. Pattern is what you saw me do when I try to do that. And try pin, which is this. It's actually quite interesting because you can click this and it's three different symbols. Never seen anything like it. It's actually pretty cool. So cancel that. So as far as things goes, once you got everything set up, you actually come to this page. Now at this time, OneSafe is the only one of the pass uh, password management systems as far as one password in LastPass that does not have a plugin for a a uh, browser. I did ask about this, and they did confirm that this will come at a later date. To confirm everything, um, I did uh, again ask about this, and they said this feature should shall be available in the end of March. So keep that in mind. And also they did say once a version does have a auto login for the iOS. So also keep that in mind. I don't have an iPad and iPhone with me, so unfortunately I can't test that part out. But as far as my Android goes, there's not too much there to talk about. You log in, you get your password and stuff, you copy it, paste it over. Same thing with 1Password. It's, it's actually the exact same thing. And also the same thing with LastPass. It's the exact same thing. Um, just about, at least. Now, as far as things goes with the um, on your Macintosh or computer, you'll be dealing with an interface like this. You won't have anything like this. You'll see something like this. You have to actually manually add it in there. As you saw, uh, when they actually start doing plugins, this might actually change where you log in automatically. The thing will ask you, do you want to save this? You click yes, and it's good to go. So just keep that in mind. Now let's cancel this real quick. What happens is you click this and you tell it what you want to log in. Um, you're not stuck with the visual, so just keep that in mind. And what I mean by this is the background. But keep in mind if you don't have the the uh, website here, just click the regular website, paste in the URL to log in, not to the actual website itself, but the login portion of the website put in your login name your password and um, if you don't have a password yet you can actually click this and it'll make you a password the shorter the weaker the longer the stronger so just keep keep that in mind also the difference of this can actually also make a huge difference in the strength of your password by an incredible amount but once you have the all end, what you can do is put in a picture, search it up on Google, and um, click OK. So we're just going to hit Previous and Cancel that. Once you do that, what you can do, click uh, for, for the background, click the actual thing, click the Change the Background, and you have a list here. Now, as far as what I've seen is you can't add anything to this list. You might be able to, but I, from what I can find and try to look into it, I can't add any more to this or any less to this list, unfortunately. But the list does have some pretty cool stuff, and that's not that bad. Now, as far as the length of this, this is literally A. Um, I'll show you right here, or two A's. And that's the password, so this doesn't even show the length of the password. This does show the strength of the password, though, so that's something to keep in mind. Now, as far as the rest of this functionality, it's pretty simple. Um, I want to, to log in Tech Reviews and Help. I click this. Give it a second or two. And while it's doing that, uh, go here. Click that, paste it into login, click here, paste it into the password, and go about my day. It's a 
pretty simple thing and pretty much the other two last pass and one password has an interface the um, what will make it or break it for me is the plugin for the um, for the browsers and again that's coming at a later date so I unfortunately I don't have the time to wait for that uh, it's February now and they said by the end of March so that's something to keep in mind um, that it's, it's quite a quite a number of days out now as far as things goes one thing that's important for this is it shows the sync status which is actually very important because LastPass and 1Password doesn't show this and the one problem I do have with 1Password is the fact that um, some of my passwords are not syncing from my Android to the computer to the computer to Android even if it's on the same Dropbox account and everything it's not syncing so that's that's in fact the reason why I switched over to LastPass because of that and um, even then I don't even have any indication saying if it's synced or not so this is a major major pl plus in my book is it shows the sync status I don't have this linked up to my um, to my Dropbox account but let's go and try to do, sorry about that let's go try to link it up to something again I'm not a big Macintosh user so small things like this does um, you know I'm not I'm not really used to dealing with I, I mostly deal with Windows and Ubuntu mostly because Macintosh I don't really have any purpose to be on it I don't, I don't really have any programs or whatnot that really run on it I can't run on the other two so as far as things goes obviously go to one safe go down to preferences and you can do activate as far as the rest of this function there really isn't much else to this um, as far as the password management system being 256 AES and the uh, price I'll actually say that this is the most preferable of the other choices but given the fact that this isn't on Windows and given the fact that I mean as of yet and this is not on and hasn't been planned towards Linux for myself I wouldn't really jump onto this yet but if it was to be planned and already have something out, I probably would actually jump on and take a look at it. Because this does look uh, like a very, very promising thing. So just keep that in mind. Now, as far as the application itself, I tried to take some pictures of the actual application itself in work. But unfortunately, there was some DRM issue when I... Um, took pictures of the application so anyways it's been great bennett the founder and owner of tech views nope and if you got any questions or anything then please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and i will try to answer them as best as i can also if you have any other tips or anything on any other applications or whatnot you want me to look at then please leave that below in the comment section i'll take a look at that if I like it, and if I like your suggestions and whatnot, and I'm making a video on it, I actually will give you a shout out in the video, and I will link your YouTube channel, and that way it helps you out since, well, you help me out. And um, as far as things goes, if you want to keep your stuff private, feel free to leave me a message on techrefusingelp.com. Uh, my email for techrefusingelp.com is within obviously techreviewsandup.com contact us and also i did have it in portions of this video so you can look at that um again the i will leave a link below towards where you can get this and if you find this helpful then please like please subscribe and please share and i hope you have a great day